All right, thank you, Nafi Axe, for 55 bit cheering. He says, Hi. And Gazor says I should see the movie Ferdinand in theaters. I am not going to the movies anytime fucking soon. <laughs> what was my ACT or SAT score? Asked the Spicoli. Oh, uh, fuck. I don't even remember. I'm, I'm almost positive it was, a, it was a, like a solid number. Like, I think it was like 1,400 or something. I don't even remember what the, what the, the numbers were back then when I took it. I have no... I, you know what I mean? Like, what was the highest number? I don't even know. What's the highest number you can get on the SATs? The funny thing was, I did good, but I didn't do it, like, amazing. One kid in my school got almost a perfect score, and they looked at him. He was, a, like, he was not good at all with his grades. And they basically asked him, if you're so smart, why do you do so bad in, in class? And he's like, because I just don't give a fuck. I hate school, and I, I hate all this. So basically, he was, like, a, a savant that just didn't care about school at all, and he was way smarter than me. <laughs> I don't even know what ACT is. Someone's asking me, what's my ACT score? I don't even know what ACT is. I don't think ACT existed when I was back then, because I don't... I didn't know... All I remember was SAT scores. I don't even know what the fuck ACT is. <clears throat> I'm done. Well, I got completely destroyed by, guess what gun? The M16. The best gun in the fucking game, in my opinion. He probably had a good scope. And he was able to pick me off with it. And it was just dumb luck. Because I was just had to run the entire match towards the white circle. I never even saw another human. Just dumb luck. So. Start up again. No, Gizora, I've never had my IQ tested. They never force you to do that in school. John DeArc asks, have I ever seen the, the anime Death Note? I did. I watched a, a bunch of it when I first got Netflix. And I watched, uh, I don't know how much I watched. I watched up to the point where I know the girl was in it. And then there was a second fucking uh, monster killing people. And then they, they had amnesia. I don't, and then I stopped watching it and I don't even remember. So I thought it was all right. It didn't like blow me away, but it was all right. Ooh. The Spicoli says, act is pronounced ACT. Our high school used those instead of SAT. Oh, I never took the ACT. I only took the SATs. And like I said, I think my score was like 1,400. I don't know. I don't remember. That was a million years ago. I cared about that for all of like a month. And then I got into college. I was like, I don't care anymore. <laughs> uh, now, if he acts at a 400-bit cheer to become, I believe, the cheerleader for tonight's stream. I believe 400 bits is the top cheer, right? Yes, it is. No, rink dude. Okay, Navi Axe and Ring Dude are tied. Navi Axe says, I was a gate student, and I never cared about school. Now I regret it. Well, that, that's what'll happen. <clears throat> Big Boy Dumper did a 25-bit cheer. He said, I did well on standardized test and advanced placement, but I was a shit student. A year after I graduated, a friend of mine still in the school said, a teacher said, we found our Big Boy Dumper was smart after he graduated. I'm a world-class fuck-up. Wow. All right. Gazora did a 25-bit cheer and said, I had tested and got put into separate class from everyone else. I don't think it was because of my intelligence. Uh-oh. <laughs> BFL Griffin did a 25-bit cheer and says, I should stream myself taking an IQ test. I don't think so. Majin Buu says, his uncle got a 2100 on the SAT. I'm pretty sure you cannot get a 2100 on the SAT, by the way. I think the top score is like 16 or 1800, so that's bullshit. <laughs> Sorry, Majin Buu. Your uncle fucking lied to you, because I don't think you can score that high. At least when I did it, you couldn't. I was told when we did it, like the highest was like either 16 or 18. Oh, people are saying it's 2400 now? Oh. Well, then who knows? Then who knows? With the test that I took, who knows what it is in comparison to what you get now, right? If you get up to 2,400, when I did it, I swear they said that I think the highest you could get was 1,600. So I, it sounds like they could dramatically change the test in the past, you know, 18 years. I guess that'll happen. No ring, dude. I have not watched Daredevil on Netflix. I probably eventually will, but I have not yet. I've not watched any of the, the Marvel shows on Netflix yet. Ugh. Ah, okay. 
So apparently it used to be just two sections, each section being eight, 800 points, but now apparently it's three sections of 800 points. That makes sense. <clears throat> My GPA was 4.0 in high school. I know that sounds crazy, but it was. I was a valedictorian. I had a GPA of 4.0. Technically, I think my GPA should have been higher than 4, but my school wouldn't allow it. So they just gave me a 4.0. Like, I did extra credit shit and stuff that should have given me credits, but they uh, just gave me a 4.0 anyway. <clears throat> Casey Toronto's Life says, you didn't even watch Guardians of the Galaxy 2? No, I did watch that, but not on Netflix. I watched that when it was on demand months before. Muy bien. Just tipped me $2 and said, I love your gameplay. I was wondering if you ever thought of networking with other people like H2 Delirious, Rad Brad, and Ohmbrecker. <laughs> My style is nothing like these people's. And uh, I've never looked to network because no one would ever want to network with me anyway. There was one era a long, long time ago. Probably, i say the years of 2010 to 2012 when people would have wanted to network with me. And back then, I didn't care because I was so popular on YouTube. I didn't give a shit about more exposure. And, you know, now that I need it or, or you know, I would benefit from it, more exposure, now I can't get it. That's how life works, I guess. But, no, I, I would not network with anyone because they wouldn't want me anyway. Plus, I'm a streamer now. I don't really do YouTube-style videos anymore. Everything's more stream-style. You know, interacting with my viewers and stuff. It's not kind of offline videos anymore. <clears throat> Alright, finally something to fucking use. I was wondering how long it was going to take. Still haven't found a gun worth picking up. Ugh. I really don't want this gun, but it's the only gun i found so far. I don't want the combat pants either. And by the way, that is true. You know, there was a time on YouTube when there were people who were contacting me to possibly do collaborations. That was, like I said, back between, I'd say, about 20, 2010 to 2012. I got... Oh, I hear someone. I got contacted by a few people, actually. A few people who actually turned out to be bigger YouTubers over time. And uh, at that time, they wanted to collaborate with me. And I was like, listen, you know, I do what I do. I just play games. And every once in a while, my friends come over, we do co-op. I'm not really looking to do, like, a big collab project or whatever with anybody. Keep in mind, back then, I recorded with a camera. It wasn't like I recorded direct capture. And I couldn't do, like, online co-op or whatever across the internet or anything outside of something that was, like, over Xbox Live or whatever. So, for me, my, my options were very limited anyway. I wasn't a PC gamer or whatever where I could coordinate that kind of shit. Um... Big Boy Dumper now asks, if I had the money and time, would I want to have kids? Um, I don't know. See, the thing is for me, and this is the truth about me, is that I don't think too heavily into shit. I don't. If if opportunities present themselves to me, then I'll consider them. But for me, like, yes, over my life, over my life I've pondered, do I want to be a father or not? But I've never been in a situation, literally never in my life have I been in a situation where I've been, like, financially stable enough or in a good position where if I wanted to be a dad, it would work out well. I just haven't. Not once in my life. Either I'm financially unstable or, you know, obviously I'm single. Can't be a, you know, I wouldn't adopt a kid without another parent to raise the kid with. That's not fair, in my opinion, to the kid. Um, every kid deserves a mother and a father or two parents, at least, to share the responsibility, in my opinion. Um, so I've never, literally never been in a good situation in my life to have a kid. And properly raise that kid and give that kid a good life. So, I've never really seriously considered it. Have I ever thought, gee, would it be nice to have a little Phil running around and to teach him life lessons and raise him and everything? Sure. But, like I said, I'm a practical person. Until I'm in a situation where it seems viable, I really don't even consider doing it. So. Gazor says, if you adopt a kid, the government gives you money to raise them. Oh, yeah, of course. Well, I would have been dead, but that guy's an idiot. I don't know 
where the fuck he went. Wow, this shotgun's terrible. It doesn't even fire straight. You saw that? I went to fire, and when I fired the first shot, the gun moved right. This gun sucks. The you have to be, like, real close to kill someone with this shotgun. Well, there was no chance I was going to kill that guy unless he was really stupid, so. Alrighty. Great. Great.